Hello, and welcome back. This is another episode where I talk about Japan and my travels there. Today we're talking about June 7th. Uh, which this is actually the eighth video. I, I don't I don't know. Maybe it's the seventh video. I probably shouldn't be saying that kind of numbering of the videos because I don't know how it's going down. Either way, today we're talking about Nijo Castle, Snoopy Chaya, uh, Fushimi Ku, and Nara with the Giant Buddha, the Deers, and finally Osaka, where we met up with my cousin and his wife. Uh, so let's see. It started with rain and raincoats. And sandals. Quite an interesting morning. Uh, we walked all the way to uh, Nijo Castle in the rain, which is rather nice. I don't think I took any video or pictures of it. I think there's smartphone footage, I think I took my iPhone footage. So, here you go. Poor quality video because the rain is shit. <laughs> It wasn't too heavy, I should say. I mean, it was heavy on the way there, but it wasn't too bad once we had finished up at the place, which is rather nice. Uh, so we then we walked barefoot uh, through the castle, witnessing the various rooms uh, and designs. I don't think I was able to take pictures, so again, apologies for it. It was a very elaborate uh, castle, all one floor, um, conveniently. But we were able to see all the different rooms and designs uh, and the placements, because uh, they had different pictures, like kind of like these walls at the back. Um, which of course were the sliding door stuff still, but they had uh, all these different pictures of animals. Uh, the first one had actual tigers and leopards, which because they don't have any tigers in Japan, leopards were like baby tigers. That's how they drew them because like they'd only heard stories and stuff. It's like, oh, this, and like, you know, artists gave like impressionist designs. So that's kind of why it's confusing as to why are there leopards there when there are tigers? And it's like, because it's the, they fought leopards with tigers as well. Um, either way, but you had stuff like that, you had the nature stuff like the cherry blossoms, uh, plus room, um, and peacocks as well, uh, and you had a few rooms that were actually had an elevated platform in them where the shogun would sit, and then there were two rooms in particular that creeped the hell out of me, uh, because they had particular recreations of not just how the rooms looked, but how the people would sit, and by this I mean they literally had people in there dress up in the whole big gear with the big shoulder pads and everything. It looked like a Japanese version, like a feudal Japan version of the 80s, and it was really weird. Um, but they had the guys dress up with all the white uh, face paint. They had a few girls there too as well. Um, and they all just sat there still. And like some of them were like sitting like this, some of them with their hands crossed. Some of them were looking down at the floor, Some and like some were just they were staring straight it was like they were like ghosts or something they were just staring in one position and stayed in that one position the whole time but yeah so that creeped the hell out of me so uh that was fun anyway um and there was two rooms where that happened too so that was just just ridiculous um so yeah it was rather scary seeing the pale faced people which um, that's not really a, even a race thing it's just it just looked like it was a horror movie, you know? Like, there were ghosts, and it was weird. Either way, uh, they were just people just sitting down and acting. It was fine. Uh, we then left to the gift shop, where, uh, actually, I got interviewed by a Japanese schoolgirl. Um, there seemed to be, like, a team where one would take a picture of you and the, uh, of, like, yourself and the person who interviewed you. There was a person, uh, who seemed to be, like, a team leader and the person who did the actual interviewing. I got interviewed about, you know, who I, what my name is, where I'm from, uh, why I was in Japan, I just, you know, tourist stuff, you know, uh, and a message about, uh, like, Japan and, you know, your own country, and I can't remember what I actually said. Um, did I say? 
Yeah, no, I can't, I can't remember what I actually said. It was something about Japan being, I think, nicer than Australia. <laughs> anyway, we then walk, uh, so after that, you know, say goodbye. There was, there was a cabinet behind us of just really old swords, which was really nice. Again, I don't think I took a picture of it, so, damn. But still, um, I still remember it, which is nice. Uh, so we then walked into the drier part of the day uh, to a street market called uh, Naka, Nakagio, or Nakagio. Uh, which was a very long undercover market, which had all kinds of things. You had food left and right, you had different stores. And that's when we discovered the Snoopy store. I've always known as Snoopy Chaya, according to um, my Snapchat. So there's a picture of that. Um, I wasn't able to take any video here because there was a lot of people and it was very tightly compact. So I'm like, I don't, and I, you know, I had to keep up with Dad, so I was like, I don't want to lose him and then get stuck and then be like, I don't know where I am. Where has Dad gone? There's only footage of me getting lost in a crowd of people. Like, it's just mental. Like, imagine the if you saw the episode where I talked about uh, Nico, the market there, but a lot, like half the size of Room to Walk, but double the people. Well, probably not double the people. Maybe half the pe mm, pretty much the same amount of people. It was it was mental. But yeah, so we went to this Snoopy store. Um, where we bought, uh, Charlie Brown treats, which were, like, really soft, gooey balls, um, that had the Charlie Brown design picture on screen, maybe later, actually. Um, and they had, like, a fudge inside, which was, a uh, choc chip. Um, so I wanted to eat them originally, but then we got around to eating them later. Uh, and, of course, there was a whole bunch of Snoopy things. I think I bought a Snoopy keychain with, uh, with one of the peanuts. Um, you know, the, the yellow bird, he was holding on to that, so that was fun. Um, I think Dad may have bought Snoopy chopsticks there. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Uh, we then stopped off at a knife shop that Dad had actually been to a few years prior, uh, where he added to his collection. So he'd already bought, like, a kind of butcher's knife, uh, which was for, I think, hard vegetables, and then he'd bought a separate knife, which I think was like more of a steak knife or something, I can't recall what exactly it was. Um, but that was pretty cool, he got his name engraved on it as well. A small bus trip and a train ride later, and we were at uh, Fushimiku, where we walked to the Red Gates. Uh, this is a very famous, another famous part in Japan, because it's where a lot of the Tories are, a lot of the Red uh, Gate Tories, not just the stone ones, uh, are all in a line, like one by one by one by one by one. And of course, we got a hell of a lot of good shots, um, and some nice video too, so hopefully that'll all be on screen now. Uh, so some good shots later, and we were sitting down for lunch. So I'm just going to showcase now just the videos that we took, and then I'll get into what we had for lunch. Beginning of a 1200 gates and holy mother of mackerel. Come on, check out for It's like the Matrix, like it's more like Inception. Am I right enough? I couldn't tell, you just going to blend it in. Yeah, of course it is. Ironically, it's orange. Come on. Ooh, spooky. No idea. Look, look for the new thunder. Oh, it's like Inception. When you use an aircraft, you're going to come with me. Yeah, it's not a bad shot, actually. It's kind of weird. Look, there are writing on the wall. I can't even point anymore. Writing. It's wet. It's a land. <laughs> it's much nicer from this angle. <laughs> And we get some really, really good shots. Mm. That's the convenience of this angle. You just walk down it and just keep walking down and just keep walking down. <laughs> it just keeps on going.
Dun dun dun. So now just zoom in on your case, focus on the case. It's a weird. Now for the fun part. Ooh, that's very warm. I should take off the thingy. Mm. That's good. Very nice. Yeah. And it's temporary. So we found a nice spot uh, out of the rain where we were able to sit down and have some lunch where we had some pork buns that we'd bought uh, just before at the previous train station. So we bought that, then we bought the, and we bought the Charlie Brown sweets, and we had them both, which were actually quite nice. Um, both the buns and the actual uh, chocolate chip uh, little cake things. <laughs> then we took a train ride back to Kyoto to pick up our bags. Uh, these being the big, big bags, not just the day packs. Uh, which we had on us the whole time as it was. Um, and we were off to Nara. We took a bus to Nara Park uh, and saw the deer. Plenty of, plenty of deer. So many deer. Oh my god. <laughs> Poor old lady. And a ninja. And another old lady. And a child. These fuckers are deadly. They will kill you. <laughs> Oh yeah, they're over there. I had it sneaking up on you, of course he is. Yeah, that's when you're Hello. Ooh, she doesn't like me. Oh. Oh. You thought you were going to give me food. Oh, yeah, of course you did. My is Yes. We continued under a large gate uh, to... to uh, well, I actually bought... Uh, we went to one of the stores first, because the whole street long to a big, big gate, um, which led to the Todaiji Temple. Um... And there was a whole bunch of stores there, and I got uh, I got a little, I think I got a, a Buddha thingy. I can't remember what I actually, it was a big keychain thing. Either way, it'll be in the very last video. Um, I got a keychain for myself and one for Katie as well. Um, and then we walked past, and there was a whole lot of deer. And I got a lot of pictures of one deer trying to stalk me. And a bunch of videos of deers. So many deers, like... Really, so many deer. You would, is it deer or deers? I don't know. Who cares? There was a lot of them. It's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, I did not want to go near any of them that had horns because I did not want to be rammed. There were some people there who um, had the, the deers came up to them or started eating their bags or eating their shirts. Um, or if you you could actually buy food for them, uh, which were like a bag of like twenty like kind of cookie like biscuits that they could eat, which was rather nice. Either way, continuing to the gate, so we went underneath this very large gate and got to the temple. Uh, in this very large temple, which again, there was another one of those temples where I was just like, bloody hell, that's big. There was also a gigantic Buddha inside. It was a huge... Yeah, so I to say, holy mother of Jesus. I feel like I need a person to compare it to, but it's hard to say. AKA the biggest Buddha in Japan, which was also surrounded by two small golden Buddhas, 
and a small museum behind it uh, that will actually show the reconstruction um, of the temple and some of the, uh, the different elements of the temple that had to be reconstructed as well. Uh, I believe the... I don't think this Buddha's head was recast. I think it may have been a different Buddha. This, this may have been the Buddha that's head fell off and they had to recast the head. Um, either way, most of the Buddha was still original. Um, and there was plenty of pictures and videos of me there trying to compare the size between me and the Buddha because it was huge. Um, yeah, so I'll give myself some time to put in some edits for the video footage and stuff now and, and I'll get back to you guys in a bit. Big golden foot thing. Ah, uh, yes, I recognize him from that, uh, the Mummy 3. <laughs> so these are ones from 18th century. Zoomed in. Pretty the, solid back, isn't it? the back of Jang Buddha. To compare the size, so this is just how it looked like 800 years ago. when it's raining and he's made of wood and he has to wear that. I was actually able to feed one of the deer because uh, dad had gone to the uh, to the restroom and I was standing there and I saw a deer and like it came up to me and I was like sorry mate don't have anything for you and a guy just came up to me he's like oh here have, have one of these and so he, he gave me half of a biscuit and I filmed myself eating a deer and there it is I mean a deer I'm eating a deer I'm filming myself uh, feeding a deer that's what I'm doing Oof. there you go Thank you. Good girl. I don't have any more, but that chance. <laughs> we then walked through the deer park uh, back to the station. Uh, this allowed us to pass the Kofuki, oof, uh, Kofukiji Temple uh, and its pagoda. Where so the, there was actually originally a pagoda at the previous temple of the giant Buddha, but it had actually collapsed, I believe. Um, either way, the big ass temple was still there and the big ass Buddha was still there. Big, big Buddha. But yeah, so we were able to see this extra temple on the uh, pagoda as well. And there was a small store outside where I got a, got some extra deer keychains and stuff. Because why not? We're in we're in Nara. It's it's a deer place. Why not? Uh, we then caught a train to Osaka where. Or Osaka, I don't know, depends on how you want to pronounce it, I guess. Where we waited at a McDonald's for my cousin Adam. Uh, when he arrived, he showed us to his apartment, uh, where his wife, uh, him and his wife live. Um, we then had some dinner, which was actually store-bought items. They had a big grocery store uh, nearby their place, which I bought some little sushi rolls and kind of a weird kind of pasta platter thing. Uh, with, I think, some like cupcake muffins as dessert which I also continued to have the next day. Uh, we watched some more Japanese TV with uh, Adam and Mickey, who were also explaining some of the elements. So this was where they were explaining the elements of like the uh, of their comedy shows in particular. So that was rather interesting to kind of his experience of like them being like, so this is like kind of how this works and that works. Like, of course, it doesn't really, the humor doesn't fully, you know, work with, uh, English speaking people but like if you know if you understand Japan and, and Japanese culture and can speak Japanese it easily helps um, so that was actually really nice of them uh, we then actually stayed there for the next few nights uh, and that's where I'm gonna end this video I didn't actually get any footage or images with uh, them at all because they had a thing about like it's just you know it's uh, you shouldn't be taking pictures or videos inside their apartment because they didn't want to get kicked out of the house and whatever you know because of course this stuff's getting posted online which is fair enough um, so I didn't actually do any of any pictures or videos in that part of Osaka but I did uh, take videos the next day 
uh, in Namba, some side streets. So, in the next video, we're hopefully going to turn off this heater. Maybe not, depends how it goes. Um, and we're going to talk about Universal Studios. Because we went to Universal Studios. Um, so that's going to be really fun. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so this this weekend, like, of the two, this this was, this that was a Friday, uh, so the uh, Universal Studios is a Saturday, and then the next day was uh, Himeji Castle and uh, Hiroshima. So, see you guys then. Uh, there'll probably be two separate videos, but unfortunately, because Universal Studios uses a whole bunch of copyrighted music, I'm going to have to talk about the whole entire video. So I'll be back. See you next time. Adios.